While many college students are finishing up their summer vacations, two Stanford students will spend the final days of their break in a war zone. They're leaving for Ukraine this week to provide some desperately needed help. NBC Bay Area's Ian Cull has their story. The increasingly horrific images of Russia's invasion of Ukraine for the past six months have hit two Stanford NBA students hard in different ways. Andre Molchinsky was born and raised in Ukraine and now lives in Canada. It's been very difficult. It's been, I would say, the word that most often comes to mind is surreal. Alex Clark is an Army veteran from St. Louis. You know, if I was Ukrainian or I was in this situation, how would I deal with that and how would I want others to help me? The two met at Stanford and became fast friends. Now they're heading for the war zone. Working with the Ukrainian Student Association at Stanford, they started Project Independence Day and have raised nearly $100,000 using their backgrounds and connections to find out what supplies will help the most. Almost within like two days of us committing to doing something together, he got a call from his contacts in Kriviri, a frontline city, roughly 25 to 50 kilometers from the front line. Population is swelling with people who are, who are injured from, from combat. And ultimately they said, we're, our medical system's buckling, we need support. They bought three ambulances like this one in Europe and are flying out this week to pick them up. Their team of six will then drive them across the Ukrainian border and into the city of Kriviri. Andre's hometown for a doorstep delivery to those trying to save lives there. I suspect I'll be involved in this humanitarian and volunteering effort for months to come. So it's always good to have your own judgment and your own assessment of the situation on the ground. Their goal is to arrive by Ukraine's original Independence Day, August 24th, hoping their efforts will help more people survive to celebrate a new kind of independence someday soon. It's symbolism, and symbolism is very important in this uh, war that, that is so obvious, right versus wrong, light versus darkness. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.